up guys welcome back to the youtube channel um little day in the life video today as you've probably seen from the title but um i will be doing a run this morning which i'm going to head off soon and then i'll be training legs later on as well so i'm pretty keen to show you guys what i've kind of been eating throughout these days recently as well because you guys always love the full days of kind of eating getting that insight so um yeah before this run i, I probably won't put the calories up um on this like yeah on this video but i'm going to show you guys kind of what i'm going to be having today so we've got a banana here this is like a small like um lady finger banana a bit different couldn't get my standard bananas we got a double shot coffee and 1.5 scoops or one and a half scoops of g1m sport from bpn in the cup so yeah bit of carbs a bit more than what i'd usually have but we're going for a pretty solid run this morning two kilometers warm up 12 kilometers at 345 to 350 pace and then two kilometer warm down i mean cool down so that's pretty much going to be the run um i'm just trying to get just trying to get dialed in with that pace and hopefully today i'm going to wear my, wear my heart rate monitor hopefully get a new like lactate threshold reading on my body so i can see where i'm at with that but after last or uh, the week before's race um i'm feeling really fresh now recovered really quickly from that and i feel like that wasn't really 100% effort. So I think the next race I'm gonna also be doing is Noosa Half Marathon, which is in a month. So I'm just about to book everything probably today. And yeah, I'm gonna go do that. Me and Katie are gonna go stay up there for the night. And I've heard it's a pretty flat course. So we might be trying to PR on that, which will be under 121. I'm not sure if I'll chase that sub 120 on that course might leave that for later on in the year but that's that announcement i'm also doing the sydney marathon later on um in september so the sydney marathon they're trying to get it on the world majors i did it last year around a sub three and they're actually very i'm very fortunate that they're going to pay for me to go down again and race in that one so stay tuned for that but i'm going to have this coffee banana all this fuel and then i'll see you guys down at the spit for this run and we'll get it done. guys i've got my insta go 360 small camera i won't be able to get any footage while i'm trying to run that 12k in between but yeah two kilometer warm up just easy pace probably around five minute pace and then we're gonna smack that 12 kilometers pretty fast and then two kilometer cool down so Let's do it. I'll have a chat to you guys when I'm finished doing that cool down. All right, that is the workout wrapped up. Oh, that killed me. I stuffed up bad. I, um, I hit 10Ks, it said two kilometers on my watch. And I thought that was it, just had two kilometers cool down, but I was actually at 10 kilometers in the middle part of my run. So I had to hit two more kilometers and then I had my two kilometer cool down. So completely stuffed that up. So one of those kilometers there, I ran like a four minute K, but the rest of them, I think I pretty much hit pretty well. I probably went too hard at the start, but it is what it is. We still executed the plan. So pretty happy with that, but um, still a little bit to work on. 
yeah, we want to hit that sub 120 this year for sure. But have a look at this. Nice water, perfect weather today, so might go hit a swim. So I'll see you guys in a second. Alrighty, nice little swim. Perfect day today on the Gold Coast. Best place to live in Australia if you're a runner. Heard it here first. I keep, to, I, always, I swear I say it like every video I come down here, but it's literally perfect. And just, if you want to live that lifestyle, um, it's just ideal. But let's go over that run a little bit. And just looking at it, like even on my watch, just say I, did, I didn't really execute the run that well, purely I think because my heart rate was so high. I was really expecting my heart rate to be a lot lower. I don't know if it was from like fatigue from last week or just this week, I'm not too sure, but yeah, heart rate was like up over like 180 for majority of that 12K kind of run in the middle. So I'm gonna show my splits up over here. Um, basically just like the warm-up was pretty standard, uh, around five minute pace, same with the cool down, just easy. Um, and then in between that, yeah, I'll put up the splits. Well, yeah, we're sitting at, I just started like way too hard. I think I probably should have like just really stuck to 350 pace. My watch, this new watch is a bit different to my old watch. Kind of shows like 345 and then 350, 355. It doesn't really show me like my pace that I'm going exactly at that moment. So I might be able to, I might have to play around with that and maybe change it or something. But yeah, we started off with like 336 kilometer, then 342, 341. So I was just cruising, feeling good. And then like I held on to the pace, obviously, if you yeah if you're looking at those times i held on to it but yeah my heart rate was through the roof and like that's why i got to, i hit 10ks and i was just so gassed um i just wanted to kind of stop and cruise but yeah i obviously wouldn't have if i knew i had another kilo, like two kilometers but that is it is what it is you can kind of see there i hit a 402 when i kind of stopped i, I just like Pretty much hit that 10 kilometers i'm like oh thank god I, I can have a little rest and then it kept telling me on my watch like you're going too slow you're going too slow i'm like what do you mean it's my cool down and then i was like oh shit, i've only done 10 kilometers so we pumped we pumped that last two kilometers we got it done but yeah we had one bad split in there that 402 which it is what it is but yeah that's pretty much the run like i said just trying to work towards next race which is noosa half marathon on the 27th of this month which is may i think we're in may now um so yeah i'm hoping for a pb there so under 121 is the goal i think it's a pretty flat course but yeah that's pretty much it for my morning i'm gonna go home have a massive breakfast probably gonna be oats i reckon some crushed nuts and some peanut butter as well so see you guys at home and yeah continue this video for the day all right, just going through the breakfast. We've got one scoop of electrolytes, one scoop of strong greens in the shaker there with a heap of water. Then we've got one scoop of vegan protein powder from BPN, oatmeal cookie in there with 60 grams of oats with some milk, 30 grams of crushed nuts that I just kind of, yeah, they just mix nuts and some peanut butter as well. But I've got a meeting at the moment, so yeah, Gonna go smash this down. All right, so just been inside doing a bit of work, but we're gonna do some stretches now. Um, got the massage gun, massage ball, and pretty much the most painful thing for me that gets pretty sore and tight is my hips. So yeah, I'll be getting the massage ball on my hips, stretching out my hip muscles around my glutes, and then yeah, getting the massage gun probably on my calves and yeah, my quads and stuff, so let's do it. Probably just gonna speed it up. Alrighty, meal number two, it's about 11 a.m. We've got beef mince, bolognese sauce and some pasta there 
if you guys want to know how I made this, um, go watch my full day of eating video um, and I go through it all. But really basic, but tastes amazing. Alrighty, we're about to head to gym and I'm just loving how much easier this is as well. Like I don't have to hold the camera out like with my arm like coming out of its socket. <laughs> I can hold it normal because I got the new lens. But um, yeah, we're heading to gym. Two LCM bars here. That's a pre-workout snack meal for today. One scoop of flight pre-workout from BPN and we're going to take five grams of creatine as well. So yeah, leg day today. If you guys have watched my other videos, you know that I try to just get legs out of the way the same day um, that I do my speed workouts or yeah, quicker runs. So it is what it is. We're going to go kill them and yeah, I'll see you guys there. guys we just wrapped up that workout um just like so fatigued like the leg days always seem to kind of go like that after i do like these big runs in the morning it's just you can't really like get way stronger on squats while you're trying to get the fastest and fittest you've ever been it just doesn't work like that it's just um yeah it just doesn't work so all i'm pretty much doing is try to maintain some muscle mass on my legs so i just get in there smash it out in an hour so pretty much one warm-up set on most of those exercises and then three working sets i usually start on squats when i've got plenty of energy but today squats were taken so i jumped on the um yeah leg extension then we did the rdls and then the squats and then finished with the hamstring curl so four exercises around four sets on each and that's about it but um just got to go to the supermarket on the way home i think i'm going to make homemade pizzas for dinner so i'll be able to show you guys how to make homemade pizzas a bit healthier than you may usually make them so stay tuned for that but um yeah let's do it Alrighty, back home i've got 180 grams of cooked chicken breast there with just seasoning on it that i already cooked later uh earlier on in the week and then we've got 100 grams of mixed veg just frozen ones and 130 grams of white rice so i'm just going to put that on there and then I'm going to put some of this hot sauce on it, which is pretty similar to just the Frank's one. Pretty low cal, as you can see. Straight on there, and that's meal number three. Alrighty, we're back in the kitchen. Katie's taken over. 
cooking our pumpkin by the look of it. But we've got a smoothie in here. So we've got one scoop of BPN blue muffin, blueberry muffin protein, one banana, some ice, and just some skim milk. And yeah, we're gonna chuck that in the Nutribullet. Alrighty, homemade pizzas for dinner. These are the ones that we're using. They're about 270 calories per pizza base. Get them from Woolworths. This is what we got, a bit of ham. That's lean beef mince with taco seasoning. Spinach, I probably won't be having that. Chicken breast, pizza sauce, olives, cheese of course and Greek style cheese stuff. <laughs> 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 and anchovies, and that's about it. Let's go. All right, there's Katie's, that's mine. Pretty much meat lovers. Anchovies, olives, all the good stuff. And that's looking pretty basic, that other one. But no, that one's <laughs> We're gonna chuck them in the Weber now. <laughs> How is it? There's Katie's and the pumpkin on it and spinach. Look at this. You can't see it too well. Let's chuck a light on. What do you think, Murph? Hmm? Frankie? No. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Alrighty, one last thing to finish the day off. One caramel ice cream. These are about 200 cows. So, just gonna have one of those and then get ready for bed. Alright, guys, that's pretty much it for the YouTube video. Gonna have this and then head off to bed. Thank you guys for watching. If you lasted this long, um, yeah, drop a comment smack that like button and yeah, I'll see you on the next vid.